Hey guys, it's iHockey011. Today I have another mail day opening. Um, it's a pretty special card in here. Now, not the most special card that he has, but it is a pretty significant card and a very cool card of this player. He is an awesome player, so I'm extremely happy to get this open. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what's in here. So let me go and see if I can find the best way to open this here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tilt the camera down real quick so you guys can get a better view of him. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited. And it looks like I couldn't have picked a dollar knife to open this, so that's cool. But that's <laughs> alright guys, we'll get it open. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to have this card. I have the card of his from uh, 1912, I believe. Let's see, I don't remember the set name, but it's the gray, it's the black and white photos of the old original hockey card sets. Um, so, that's cool, but yeah, I don't have his rookie card. I would love to have his rookie card, this is so expensive right now, so uh, we'll wait and see. Uh, I almost have it. I can do it, guys. There we go. All right, so now we have a box, Some more address, which you guys don't need to see. I don't know why I said more address. <laughs> Just more address, that's what's on the box. <laughs> we open her up, and uh, I'm pretty excited to show you what's in here, guys. Let's go ahead and remove this. All right, here we go. All right. Let me see if you guys can see. Here we have a uh, good two, a PSA two, George Vesna 1924 Maple Crispet set. So I'm very, very happy to have this in the collection now. So that's awesome. Looks like we got a uh, a card. So I can't really show you the back. That's a bummer. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this little uh, seal here that he put on there and take this shout out to this guy shout out to him he did a very nice job packaging so i just want to you know give a shout out to him as i should give a shout out to these sellers as when they provide exactly what they did say they will so that's nice but there's the back of the card very cool i'm so so happy to have this this is awesome this is one of my um, favorite sets. I actually love this, especially the prize that you could get for collecting the set. I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, George Vezina, obviously a fantastic player. Honestly, a star. You, I mean, obviously everyone knows about the Vezina trophy, but, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can get this stand to work right there. we go. Perfect. All right. So let's set him here, and then I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the history of George Vesna for you guys. Um, so first, we'll start off with the Maple Crispet overview. Um, and I'll go ahead and list off the card, what it is. It's a 1924. The set uh, number is V-130 Maple Crispet card, and George Vesna is card number 13. And this is a PSA 2, once again, um, just in case you didn't hear me the first time or see. Um, but yeah, so here's a Maple Crispet overview. The 1924-25 V-130 Maple Crispet is a similar slash rare, rare Canadian issue of hockey cards. The set contains 30 cards and includes... Oh, sorry, I didn't... I misspoke. Not similar, smaller. I was like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> the Maple Crispet is a smaller rare Canadian issue of hockey cards. The set contains only 30 cards and includes black and white pictures of players on the front along with their name and a card number. The card backs displayed a drawing of a skate blade and informed collectors that they could exchange a complete set of the cards for a pair of skates by sending them into the company. So we can go ahead and uh, show that off real quick for you guys again. So as you can see, like I just read off, there's the skate. And there's the text saying that you could turn in the complete set for a free pair of skates. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a pretty unique uh, 
<laughs> unique card. In order to keep down the cost of the promotion, Maple Crispet purposely short printed one of the cards. That card featured uh, Sp Sprague Claycorn, and his card from the set is one of the hobby's truly scarce and valuable cards. In fact, the V130 Maple Crispet set is considered complete without him. In addition to the short printed uh, Clayhorn, many of hockey's early legends are included in 1924 V130 Maple Crispet hockey. George Vesna, Howie Marenz, Ariel, Juliet, and Nusi Lalonde. So quite a bit of good players, I would say. Um, definitely a good crop out of uh, 1924. Um, but yeah, here's a little bit of an overview for Vesna. Obviously, we all know the Vesna Trophy. He's a superstar goalie. Awesome, awesome goalie. Oh my lord, I just knocked him over. Alright, let me get a stand that's a little less fussy to deal with. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with it. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, George Vesna was a Canadian professional ho ice hockey goaltender who played seven seasons in the National Hockey Association and nine in the National Hockey League all with the Montreal Canadiens. After being signed by the Canadiens in 1910, Vesna played in 327 consecutive regular season games and a further 39 playoff games. Before leaving early during a game in 1925 due to illness, he never missed a game before his illness. Vesna was diagnosed with tuberculosis and died on March 27th, 1926. So yes, it was a very sad uh, thing what happened and it's definitely not a good way to go so um, it's definitely unfortunate that we lost such a legend that way but his legacy carries on with the Vesna trophy and all that wonderfulness that he left us to uh, see so I'm very thankful for that um, he was the only goaltender to play for the Canadians between 1910 and 1925 Vesna helped the team win the Stanley Cup in 1916 and 1924 while reaching the Stanley Cup Finals three more times, nicknamed the, uh, some, uh, man, that is quite the word. Shiku, I, I'm not even going to try to say that one because I'll mess it up. But the, I'll try to pop it up if I can when I'm editing this video. But, uh, uh, it's something cucumber. So <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Um, for his calm composure while in goal, Vesna allowed the fewest goals in the league seven times in his career, four times in the NHA, and three times in the NHL. In 1918, Vesna became the first NHL goaltender to both record a shutout and earn an assist on a goal. At the start of 1926-27 NHL season, the Canadians donated the Vesna Trophy to the NHL as an award to the goaltender who allowed the fewest goals during the season. Since 1981, the award has been given to the most outstanding goaltender as determined by a vote of NHL general managers. In Vesna's hometown of Shikutumi, the sports arena is named the Center George's Vesna in his honor. Uh, when the Hockey Hall of Fame opened in 1945, Vesna was one of the original nine inductees, and in 2017, the NHL included him on their list of the 100 greatest players in the league history so yeah he's got quite a bit of history here um i'm very thankful to have this card and i'm very thankful to be able to share it with you guys and i hope to continue to share unique pieces of history like this um now my dad knows quite a bit of history on a lot of the older cards so some of these real old cards like the 1910s and such i might even bring him in on some of these videos just to help uh, clarify some things so uh, I'll keep thinking about that and see when he has some time so I can do that with him but yeah it's definitely nice to have someone that's really knowledgeable about these cards um, so yeah I'm very thankful for that anyways as to the grading for uh, Vesna in PSA there are a total of 34 graded cards he has in the graded one category he has 16 and one qualified in the 1.5 category he has uh two cards in the two category he has a total of 10 cards um or eight cards sorry in the three category he has a total of six cards um in the four category he has two cards graded in the five category one card graded and in the seven category one card graded 
Um, and the six, he has zero, eight, zero, nine, zero, and ten, zero. So there's not a lot of really good grades of George Vesna, unfortunately, but um, I'm very thankful to have a two. Um, his card definitely goes for quite a bit. Um, I'm definitely after his rookie card, so hopefully I can get that. But uh, yeah, thanks you so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be so much appreciated. I really do uh, appreciate it so much, and I cannot wait to continue to pr provide good content for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. iHockey011 tuning out. Bye-bye, guys.